Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to get your stats crazy high, uh, provided you've got the money. Alright, so if you've got the money, you can go over to the different uh, contacts that you have. Antiquarian's a good one if you have a rogue that wants to get dexterity. So we just uh, kind of come over here, have a conversation with the Antiquarian guy. Alright, so normally you can't get your dexterity above 20, so this is something you want to do after you reach level 20 through your level ups or perhaps you want to use those uh, levels for feats instead of attributes. This is another way of doing that. You can stack up on a feats. But if you go down here, you can see that the manual of quickness of action is 4,025. These resupply every day. So as long as you've got the money, you can buy these. So at this contact, Helm and Summer, you can get dexterity plus two, or strength plus two, or con plus two. So if you want to have high dexterity, and what stack's good for? Well, with a rogue, it's both for your defense as well as your attack. So defense, you're going to raise your dexterity. Uh, it's going to raise your AC, your armor class, as a result. So if you get these books, you purchase them for 4025 And uh, if you have um, a contact that you really like, has good stuff for you, you want to give your items to get that... Um, rating with them all the way up so that you can get a rebate of a max of 30 percent. So this will sell the things for, to you for a lot less. Uh, once you get the item, which we've already purchased here on uh, Roslyn here, we'll go ahead and reorder the item so you can find it easy. Here it is, Manual of Quickness of Action. It is going to require you to study it. It's going to take 24 game hours, so it's going to go by real fast, zip, zip, zip. But that will give you a permanent plus two, and you can do it more than once, because as you see, once the party exits out of this 24-hour period, that Rosalind, if I look at her AC, it's 21. Why is that? She's got no armor on. She has a 21 AC, but she has a 26 dex. That's because I've been buying these books and bumping up her dexterity. All right, so as a result, her armor class is crazy high. She's got bracers of defense. All right, so bracers of defense is when you're not wearing armor or a shield, you get plus two AC. So just adding to this strategy for her to get high AC without any uh, armor. And then we can go ahead and cast a spell of mage armor on top of that. And now you have characters running around without any armor and having ACs up around 24. All right, so that's, uh, she also gets one from, because she's standing next to the cleric of battle. But that's that's pretty crazy for a rogue with no armor on, right? 24 AC. And uh, our warrior here is at 28, our fighter. And that's in full plate armor. So just crazy how high you can get your AC. And it doesn't stop there. You can just keep buying these books provided you have the money. So if you have lots of money, you have lots of items that are coming your way, go ahead and pump up your favorite character. Get them their stats in a crazy state. Again, different uh, contacts are going to sell different things. This one just happens to have strength, dexterity, and constitution. Hope this helps you guys and you're uh, prepping your characters for epic battles. Please like, subscribe, uh, and leave comments. It all helps our uh, beating the YouTube algorithm. And have a wonderful day and happy questing. Check us out on Ladies of Celasta.